Hey everyone, Ryan Gregerson here. So in my see, two or three videos ago, I can't remember where, when it was, but I was mentioning that I was going to probably start working on a new mini-series project here on YouTube about um, a zombie outbreak and how one deals with a zombie outbreak in isolation. Well, I'm currently working on the pilot episode for that mini-series. Essentially, I'm going to well, I'm gonna create this first um, episode, the pilot episode, which um, is actually titled Pilot Slash Outbreak. I'm actually going to work on the plot here in, in a little bit here, but um, essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to create this episode, put it on YouTube, you know, and put the link on Facebook and such, and I'm going to see what the general reaction is to the, the pilot episode. If it's good, if I get like, I don't know, in the first week, if I get like something like 50 views or whatever, and people are pretty cool with it, then I'll go ahead and make the, the mini-series that I plan to make. If it doesn't get like, any views at all and it gets like like thumbs down and just people don't like it in general, I'm, I probably won't make it because it probably won't be you know, the best use of my time to create something that people won't watch. But anyways, um, while making this mini-series, hopefully, um, if people like it, I plan to create uh, the, these kind of videos kind of like behind the scenes and so this is my first behind the scenes video um, and just to give you a kind of a synopsis of what the um, the, the series, this mini series will be about as yeah, I've told you it's going to be a person in isolation and during a zombie outbreak and it's going to not be filmed in the way that um, a TV show is like you know you have the cam somebody behind the camera and the like, char characters interact it, it's not like that it's going to be like a personal a journal or a video log vlog as some people call them and it's supposed to, it's all going to be on, on the camera so basically I'm I, I, I will be the person um, doing the acting but essentially I'm just, I'll just be holding the camera here and just talking into it it's it's not going to be anything spectacular like that it's supposed to be like a a personal um, it's, it's supposed to be like a look into the the person who's going through the isolation it's it's a, it's a person's personal account uh, of the events that are taking place so um, when it comes to the actual what's going to happen in the story there's going to be no real script per se there, there will be a plot there will be like um, points made out through the series of what's going on and how the character reacts to it but there is no actual working script most of it's going to be um, improv but it is going to be tied to a certain situation so the story will keep flowing on but it's going to be like as if that the person is is really in um, a zombie outbreak, a zombie apocalypse, whatever you, want, whatever you wish to call it and um, when I want, uh, when I wanted to create, when I, when I wanted to create this series, I wanted to create uh, two things, uh, or, or to get two things across. One is the, um, I want th the viewer to be entertained. I want the viewer to understand that, you know, it, it, it's all fake, but it's at the same time, it makes it look like if it's real. And I want people to understand what it would be like if you were cut off from everybody else during like a zombie outbreak and you were isolated and you were in one place and how would that affect a person just being alone for all that time and and how would they survive how would they cope and then the second thing was um, that I cr I'm like the, the beginning and the end of the episode will of the episodes will be um, like you know the opening and the credits which is um, obvious that it's you know it's a it's a show it's it's for entertainment purposes only but in, everything in between there it makes it look like that the viewer is working for the central intelligence agency and that what they're doing is they're taking a look at uh, the character's personal vlog and they're trying to understand how a person goes through a zombie apocalypse outbreak whatever you want whatever you wish to call it and how how does the, their mentality change? It's like psychologically speaking, how are they affected? And it's and it's meant to be used for research and to study on, you know, how exactly it happened. So, for example, 
I can I can tell you that the zombie apocalypse happens in in the series. Oh, I think it's I can't remember if it's 2016 or 17. It will be made clear in the in the first episode. But um, so it's in the future. But the person who's looking at it, like the CIA, they're researching it. They're it's beyond what the the person in in the video is saying it is. So it's like five, six years down the road and they're, and they're researching it and they're documenting it for scientific purposes. So, for example, it's like, it's like if you were working for the CIA, CIA, you would be viewing this video, uh, this personal vlog of the character and you would probably be in the year like 2020, 2021, 22, something like that and you're viewing this um, vlog, personal video vlog from uh, that was recorded in 2016, 17, whatever I chose as the date I started um, making the vlogs as the character would. So right now what we have here is uh, my program which I've been working on. Um, it's uh, Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum uh, 10.0. Um, it's not, well, you know, it's, it's an okay program. It's a lot better than um, most out there, but it's not like high tech. I'm not, you know, I'm just one guy and I only have like working, I have simple jobs, so it's not like I'm using like really special effects during this uh, mini series, but I'm um, using the best what I have. But, anyways, um, right now I'm working on the pilot episode um, titled Pilot Slash Outbreak, as I mentioned before. And right now, what I've done is pretty much gotten the beginning and the end. And what we have is the um, the opening uh, title sequence and um, transitions, whatnot, and the also the the credits as well. And once I, I so I've gotten that done. Now what I need to do is get the um, the footage, the actual um, the uh, you know the, the acting, I guess, me talking to the camera. Once I get that done, once I get that um, finished, I'll put that in the middle, and so we have beginning, middle, and end. And I'm guessing, I'm not exactly sure when the first episode will be up. It's I'm hopefully in the next week or so, but the only time will tell. But um, essentially, I'm thinking that episodes are going to run somewhere in the five-minute range. But then again, I have no idea. It's I've never done something this this complex before, as uh, as a minute as working for making a mini series on YouTube. So it could be like five minutes. It could be ten. I don't know. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how much uh, content that I need to put into the pilot episode in order for people to understand the um, what's going on. Actually, let me. As I, I was talking before about uh, the day the outbreak happens, well, it could be in 2016. That, um, like, I, I, was, I was confused if it was 2017, 16. 2016, and the first pilot episode, um, uh, as the character explains it, it will be f dated May 1st, 2016. So that is essentially the first episode of when it takes place uh, on May 1st, 2016. And. An interesting thing here about the, um, yeah, I think I can make it bigger. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll read it for you. Um, when I made the case file ID identification number, um, like this is what I put down as the number Z 0639272 V 149A. And what that is, is it's, it's actually a real, it's actually a real code, so to speak. The Z, well, it means zombie, like zombie outbreak, so that's probably how the CIA would um, um, identify it with. Uh, 0639272 is actually the um, geographic location number of the town I'm in, which is Alexandria, Minnesota. So that, is how, that would be how um, the government would classify the area as like where they got this footage, as where they got the vlog from the character. Uh, v actually means the ward. Um, you know, cities are divided into precincts or wards or whatever you, whatever some people call it. I'm in Ward 5, or the Ruben numeral uh, is V, so that's why I, the, the V is there. And then the rest is actually kind of made up. Uh, 149 means that I just made that as like the evidence they took into collection from 
this ward in the city. So let's I just pretended like it was the 149th thing they found, and A indicates the first in the series of this um, of what they got from the camera. So A would be your the pilot outbreak episode, and then B would be episode two, C would be episode three, and so on and so forth. And and I actually got uh, the pictures and stuff, everything you see, pictures off of my Google and stuff. But um, anyway, that's, I thought you guys may want to know that. But anyways, you can expect the, uh, the first episode within the next week or so. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And when it does come out, please let me know what you think so I can know if I'm going to make, follow through to make this series or not. And yeah, I'll hope you guys will enjoy it and it should be up for the next week.